it's been five months since I've been in Kalani and I was in New York working in an office and it's a fashion company. Great place, beautiful people, but I started to lose touch with what my wants were. I was making more allowances for others than myself. Not living, I was just like surviving and it's like that's no way to live. Nobody should live that way. I dream about wild things that I wouldn't usually feel is appropriate, but I've had to take that word out of my vocabulary for now because appropriate doesn't allow me to be free, be liberated. When you go above, like the hawk does, and you see from a higher perspective, you'll always see your possibilities, always. My body was communicating to me and then coming here and being able just to finally like, you know, breathe. And it was so clear on what I needed to do for myself, for my body, for my soul, you know, it was just so clear. It's been beautiful to let go of so many worries, so many worries that weren't mine. That's been huge. There's so much that I didn't need to worry about anymore. It was life changing to have the space to actually let things in that I really want to focus on. It's been healing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I don't think <laughs> I've been told that people are proud of me, but to say and really mean that I'm proud of myself. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you. That's a good question. <laughs>